Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Today, Tyler and I are going to be targeting smallmouth bass. The clouds are supposed to go away. It's supposed to be a beautiful summer day. I am so excited to do it. It's something that uh, we are actually going to be power fishing, so a lot yep. of casting, and it's we not something we do a lot. Well, no, we don't. We don't. We don't do a whole lot of power fishing, especially for bass. No, so this is going to be a cool. Muscle. It's going to be a cool episode. We actually sat in the boat today before we launched the baiting on which baits we want to use from Bagley Bait Company. Cause they all look good, but they make a variety of different crankbaits from top water to 20 foot down. Yeah, it, and they we have think a whole we came up with stuff. a pattern. Yeah. We're fishing a stained lake, so fish tend to stay a little shallower, but we're going to be throwing off a lot of structure. Yes. So we're excited to do that, and I, I know we're going to catch a lot of fish because we're doing two things. We're coupling, we're coupling Kramer Custom Rods, new bait casting line of rods, with Bagley's. Yeah, we are. And I have, it's going to be epic. You have me as a guide. Oh, wow. There you go. So this okay. should be a pretty good episode, I'm guessing. Uh, we're going to cut Tyler off right here. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Baitmate Fish Attractant. Molly. You oh got one? Gosh, they just fight relentless. Might. Look at this. It's another, it's a cookie cutter to what you just had, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, there's nothing better than catching smallies. If you're going to fish for smallies, top water is pretty fun, but casting cranks, just power fishing, you know? We don't get to do that a whole lot, but these, these are all dandies. Wow. I think yours is a little bit bigger. I think it might be. That's the way it should be. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. How you doing, pal? It's nice. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a gander here. This could be a long time. Especially if we get a couple of huge donkeys, we're going to struggle to be <laughs> getting them in the boat real yeah, quick. Yeah, we are. You know what I mean? A lot of action is just going to be yeah. trying to boat side pick them up. Come here, Maybe buddy. we got to do tournament style. Maybe. I don't, don't want to hook in my finger, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I know. Let's see, let's see Trampy Gramble. There we go. There. That's a nice, that's really nice one. That's a dandy right there. That one's there. definitely bigger than mine. We're going to be catching a lot of fish today on crankbaits. And I'll tell you what, Bagley baits have been around for a long time. Pretty tough to find crankbaits better than that for bass. We're going to be catching tons of them today. What a start. That's literally first, we're not yeah. joking, three minutes. Yeah. Pe little absolutely. piece of shoreline and here we go. Look at Fish that. like what they see. Aren't they gorgeous? Wow. See you later, buddy. I got you one got, too. You got something better there. It feels good. Yeah, it does. Holy cow. Spot lock is on. All right. Wait, can you see I haven't, it? I haven't seen it yet. Stand down. A lot of good head shakes. It's a bass. Oh, tank. It's a nice bass. That's a dandy. Woo. I'm telling you, it's that crawfish spray. He ain't getting <laughs> off in a million years. Nice. Woo. Look at that. Thank you. Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> nice start. Look at that beautiful fish. Putting us on the board. Yeah. Mr. Bronze back. Good way to start us off. Yeah. That fish is fat. Fat, dark, and beautiful. Oh my goodness, so much fun. That's a nice one, Sarah. Mama, they're awesome. I'm jelly. You should be. There you go. That's that was on fish. the pause. What do you got? Walleye. Oh wow, a nice one. Nice walleye. Yeah. There you go. There's a multi-species. Wow. I was not expecting that, no, folks. Nice Holy one. cow. Everything eats the pro sunny, hon. Oh my goodness. It's quite Tyler, obvious. Tyler's you want me gonna, to get the net for you? Yeah, if you wanted to. Look at look how he chomped that thing. I know. Wow. It's 
Scooper up there. Everything wants to eat that. Nice fish, hunt. Wow. That's cool. There you go. That shows you right I there. I was not expecting to see a walleye. No. Nice work. When you said, what do you got? I was like, I don't, well, I don't know. I mean, when that fish hit, there was some weight there. That's a beautiful, beautiful walleye. Huh? Oh my goodness. Nice work. That is a really nice, dark, pretty, big, fat, long walleye. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's awesome. That Look at him showing off for you. Beautiful fish. Let's make his TV debut. Yeah. Wow. I actually, this is my first time using this, this rod. We had Kramer make us one for crankbaits, for actually for bass. That was the whole purpose. And this is my first time using it, and I am loving this rod. It is so lightweight. It is crazy how light yeah, this he rod makes, is. His rods are but it has the lightest rods you can buy in You can see the backbone market. on it. So like, I didn't have any trouble bringing that fish pin. You can see that this rod is got the backbone to bring them in. It's so lightweight and casting. I can cast these things a mile. Exactly. That is key when you're casting these balsa. A lot of these baits that we're using, these Bagley baits are balsa, so they're a little bit lighter. But he makes his rods just, just whippy enough that you can get length on the cast, but plenty of backbone to bring in big fish. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. So if yeah. you're looking for a bass stick, crankbait especially, Eric makes some phenomenal We're gonna rods hopefully for show you a couple of Yeah, we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you them in action. <laughs> They're gonna get their workout, that's for sure. There we go. There you go. What do we got here? Better. Staying down. I like that. A lot of head shakes. Keep the line tight. Thank you. It's ooh, a small ooh, mouth. Ooh, ooh. ooh, that's a dandy. Yes. Ooh, look at how dark they are. I, I cannot get over how pretty no, these fish are. Are you going hand grabbing or no? Oh, I can try, but it's nerve. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get a minute for you. Yeah, you know, we lost he some heartbreakers. No, I don't see any buddies. Come here, big bass. Nice. Yeah, I know. Gunshot. We'll spot lucky here, hon. Look at that. Nice job. Oh my god. You're goodness. on fire today. They are so pretty. They are. Okay, I'm gonna. Do you need pliers? Or you go... Yeah, I think I want the pliers. Just pop them off. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Can you pop them out of there? I think I can pop them out. Okay. That's the one thing that. That's yeah. why we're using. One of the big reasons why we're using mono too for line is we have a little bit of stretch, so we're not ripping hooks as much as we would maybe with braid. That's a beautiful that, fish. They are, I cannot get over how dark yeah. and beautiful they are. That's amazing. Right. So much fun. And, and smallmouth, you can't ask for a better fighting no, fish. they're good. Yeah. Nice job. Today is just, I think, one of those days where it's a fish catching day, you know? It feels like it. You got beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off. And the other thing that, that we wanna talk about today is the fact that we're fishing a little bit stained lake, a little bit dirtier water. It's not so much dirty, but it is. Yeah, it's not it's dirty. It's stained, it's kind of tea colored. Yeah. And what that allows those fish to do pretty much all season is they stay shallow. They stay probably 10 foot or less, these bass. So these crankbaits are a perfect presentation. Cover water fast, and if the fish are aggressive, which they are today, they're gonna hit these no matter what. I mean, you don't have to slow down, you don't gotta use soft plastics. They want to eat, so covered water, catch the most fish as possible. These baits are perfect for that. And you know we're using we're fishing the whole water column here, seven eight foot. Sarah's fishing the top. I'm getting down a little deeper. But it's going to be a good day. It is hot though, isn't it? It is warm though. I, I don't really want to be this close to shore either. Got fish. That one kind of just came up and sucked it in. It's another boss. I want to see it. You're, that one's staying down. Yeah, he is. I don't think he's humongous, but... He's fighting like oh, he's he, big. Oh, wow. Maybe I was uh, wrong. Ah, he's nice. Yeah, that he is, is a nice a one. Nice wow. Fish. Maybe I should pay attention. Do you want the net for that one? Uh, oh, he's got oh, he's got three buddies with him. Look at that. Four oh, of gosh. them. Look at all and of them. And they're big. Look at all those bass cast in there. Oh, my gosh. He's got three bass that are exactly the same size. Unbelievable. Now, don't catch my line there, sweetie. The other ones are more interested uh, in... This is a big fish too. Bigger wow. fish than they are my bait right now. Look at him down there. How cool is this? We are in for a special day today, I think. We're gonna get our episode. Filming. This guy's just bulldogging. I wonder if I have another one attached to that crankbait. You could. You got two treble hooks on there. There he is, hon. Oh. Oh my goodness, Tyler, that's a nice fish. Nice. Wow. And there are <laughs> five more of them 
the exact yeah, same size over they there. Are. Hopefully they go right back to where they were. I'm sure they will. Right Let's get a look at this thing. Wow, buddy. And here's another thing I like about these baits. The fish want to eat them. <laughs> look at yeah, that. that helps. Unbelievable. What do you think? Hungry or no? Doesn't that look good in there? Oh, yeah. Awesome. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Badger Sportsman Magazine, number one in the Midwest since 1943. Better fish? Oh wow, yeah. Nice one. Giant. Nice fish. Ooh, Dandy, Sarah. Off. Look at that. That one hit it good, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh my goodness, he's really It's he's on spot really lock. showing off. Awesome. You well, need the help? Do you want the net? He's got a buddy. Oh yeah, he does. Wow. Two really nice ones. Yeah, let's net him because okay. then we don't have to keep fighting with Sure. Him. Wow. Can you see that second one? Is nice I, fish too. It's deep. Yeah, like, like this fish is bulldog and like crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's time. a that's a nice one. Yeah. There you Ooh. go. All right. Yes. Nice okay. fish, Sarah. Wow. I actually. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming, so I wanted to adjust. Look at that. That's wow. a dandy, beautiful fish. That is a beautiful. They're nothing but power. I love still it. Still full of spunk. Right. Oh my goodness. Woo. Yeah, he's pretty. Wow. That's why they call them bronze so back, huh? So much fun, yes. The shoreline coming up, Sarah, is going to be golden. Look at all these down trees. Pretty epic. I see a couple boulders there. If you were going to draw a picture. Right. And put a boat on it and say there's bass there. Like Bob Ross? Yeah, exactly. It's a happy little tree here. We're going to put a happy little boat here. With we're going to put a happy fish little fish. bass under there. <laughs> you're going to catch one. You're right next to that rock wood combo and there it is no no more did i get that out of my mouth <laughs> no nope. you got a fish is that a nice bass no it's the small it's a little one, guy that's okay i'm gonna come and get a double here mm -hmm. then right he has off a the follower, tip of that friend. i whacked that tree a little bit he has a follower friend that's oh he does he the same size and he I'm came right. over to get yours but did he? he decided not to oh that's a, that's a nice yeah, fish he's de yeah he's bigger wow. than i originally thought i really thought he was like eight inches out there but no he's he surprised me. I'd say he's 17, 18 yeah, inches. Yeah, he's, he's bigger than I thought. Do you, do you got him, Hunter, or do you want the net? I got him. We talked about this classic shoreline, classic structure. Right. Almost Bob Rossian. We were Bob Rossing it. Oh, wow. He is hooked like a champ. Ate that sunny bee right up. Mm -hmm. And he came off. Classic downed wood. Oh, geez. Those trebles can be kind of tiresome. You got them out of there? Right. There you go. Classic downed wood. Came up and smacked it. I actually thought he was like a third of the size when he hit. He didn't do a lot of pulling, and then he got close to the boat, and boom. As we mentioned before, we're fishing. This lake ha happens to be really stained. So the fortunate thing about stained lakes compared to clear lakes is the fish tend to stay shallower throughout the year on these darker colored lakes and that's what we're on now. But everything that we've been seeing today has to have rocks around it, whether it's weeds or wood, it's kind of the addition for the combo structure, but it's mostly rocks and of course smallies are notorious for being on rocks. We're just gonna say classic smallies. Yeah, and a lot of them are spitting up crawdads. So that's telling us, you know, something that's bouncing off those rocks we need. And because those fish are shallow, these bagley baits that we're using, Sarah's got the, the Pro Sunny and I got the Diving Bee. They're just, they're hitting that three to five to six foot range and that's where most of these fish are hanging. But what's really nice about them, Sarah mentioned before, they cast really, really well for being a balsal bait. They're light bait, but you can cast them a long ways. We're both using 12 pound test mono and we're getting yeah. really good length, very few backlashes. It's a little bit breezy, but not too bad today. But we're just, we're really pleased with the way these baits are, are working. And, and we, we chose to, to cast two different baits and two different depth runners on purpose. Right. So I'm, I'm a little bit more shallow than Tyler because I can get 
the there shallower fish nice, and Tyler nice, could pick nice. up the deeper ones. That's right, yeah. We, we kind of had a plan when we came in. Oh, you get off? Yeah. We kind of had a plan when we came in here. Let's not, you know, cast the same thing. We want to fish different zones. Obviously, that's kind of common for a lake you haven't fished in a while or a new lake. You want to, you don't want to have the exact same thing on. And that's one thing we really never do if we're fishing a new body of water. Find out what's working. Get a pattern established. Today was pretty easy though. I mean, the, the fish are cooperating nice. They are, and they're hitting both yours and mine. Exactly. Like it, it feels like like a section of the of the shoreline will, will hit mine, and then a section of the shoreline will be hitting Tyler. So they, they're pretty good. The fish are everywhere. Yeah. There's a ton of minnows just took out from in there. Really? If this is a bass, it's a better fish. Yeah, I don't he's know. Way I don't down. know if it's a northern no. That guy hit it like a ton of bricks. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. It looked like you almost jumped out of the boat. Yeah. Come up here, buddy. Yeah, that's a nice smallie. Another 17 inch, I think. Fun, fun, fun. You got them for me? Yeah. I'm gonna try. Okay, he's right here. I don't want to get in the way. Oh wow, that's a really nice uh -huh. one. Yeah. That's what you gotta watch out for with the trebles on the smallies. Yeah. There. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll deliver your package. Yeah. You. <laughs> I'd much rather have a small eye on my finger than a hook. Nice. Aren't they pretty? Wow. They're so Those dark. Those marks on them. I love it. Love it. See you later, bud. You got a little weeds there. Yeah. They're using the weeds. Weed rock combo. Look at that. What did I say? Here we go. I try not to get snug up in the weeds and there comes the fish. They'll eat that. Is that a better one? Yeah. I like when they stay down. I know. Oh, wow. This is... Decent one. This I'm going to go right yeah, there and see if there's a double. He's got a, he's got a buddy. Oh, my goodness, he does. Look at that. How cool is that? He's going to... You just got two of them. You got both Did of them. Did I really? You got both of them. <laughs> oh, Look no! at this. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get my lure out of there. Oh, no. I think one got off. Oh, yep. he did? Yeah, one got, <laughs> the second one got off. <laughs> wow. I see. Oh, oh, you the, lost both of them. The first one got off. I choked. <laughs> you had two fish on in one cast. You didn't get any of them in, hon. I choked. That's all right. Uh, they like that bait. Holy cow. Both, the old, on, uh, both on the screen there. The old, that's weeds, too. <laughs> the sunny bee. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why we're using a square bill, so we can get right up in that stuff that exactly. the fish love. Get right up in there with them. The one thing you want to take in consideration if you're looking to buy a stick in particular for casting these balsa wood cranks is something that can get the cast out there. So what do I mean by that? You want to have a little bit softer tip so you can fling the baits a little easier. And Eric can make whatever you want. Obviously we talk about that all the time, but these are moderate soft tips on there. So they're pretty soft. So when you cast, it flings the bait quite a bit further. And it's also nice to have that soft tip for setting the hooks on fish. You're not ripping hooks like we talked about, pulling, pulling cranks, a continuous moving bait like that. So that's a nice thing. But the other thing with the wind and the factor of getting length on your cast is if you look at that first eyelet on there, that is a microwave eyelet and that keeps that line right close to the rod. So when you cast, you don't have a lot of bow in there and it shoots it straight through the whole length of the rod. And we're we're pitching these baits quite quite away, especially in the wind, and that's a good feature, especially when you're fishing the structure where you have to get tight up there. You don't want the boat right next to shore. You want to be a little bit of ways away, but you can throw them right up there, real accurate cast, so that's really nice. He does a heck of a job. Sarah's using the, the Pro Bass, and I got the X11 Pro Bass. So he's got a couple different options there, but he can make them any size, action on the tip, handle configuration, whatever you want. He can hook you up. Does a good job. I'm gonna Weeds. get a weed. Oh, that's a fish and it's a norther. We got him out of the way. I got a weed, you got a northern? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I got a bass! Is that a bass? Yeah. Oh, that's a dandy. Wow. Popped it off the weed, a square bill, so I didn't bring the weed with me. Right. That is why we're using a square bill. Uh, I got my own issue back here with the Slimefeld. <laughs> so if you can, Hand grab him. That would be awesome. I know that's a I, nice one. I think I'll be okay. We don't want to lose Whoa. him. Oh, pulling drag. has gone. Do you need a net or are you good, hon? I think I'm okay, but holy I'll tell you what, moly. these baits are just catching everything that swims. I'm not kidding. That's a nice fish. Oh, wow. This you know is what? So much. I'm netting fun. him for you. This fish is that is, okay? Yeah, he's bulldogging like crazy. 
Look at that. that. He's oh pretty. My goodness. He's almost ready to get off. Yes. Came up and nice job. Wafter. That's a seriously. It's been like it's like fish. every other cast. Okay, I'm just gonna unhook him. Yep, right I got the net here. Let's see that fish. Let's see him, hon. That's a he dandy. Popped off. I got the net. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful fish. Wow. Nice. Oh my word. Yeah, that's what we're after right there. That is a big bronze back smallie. He's pretty too. Good job, Ooh. sir. Oh, he's gonna show off for you guys. Yeah, look at that. That's what it's all about oh, right there. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, our bass fishing day is done. It is. <laughs> I am relieved to be sitting down though because we had action nonstop from the get-go. We caught a ton of smallies on the Bagley baits. Their crankbaits are top of the line, balsal baits. Highly recommend. Durable, long casting. A lot of fun. Easy to use. Easy to use. A lot of fun. Let, let's let's do a quick description of how to use them. Open tie package. It yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Tie it on. Yeah. Cast mm -hmm. it out. Catch fish. Catch a bass. That's, that's, that's yep. pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you're doing it on on the best rods money can buy. The Kramer custom rod. So my my rod, like I said, was new for me for this sole purpose and for this episode right i'm, I'm sold you i like loved it? it yeah we're gonna be doing more bass fishing now that sounds good i i had a lot of fun today so everybody thank you for watching sarah and i make it look easy but trust us there's a lot that goes into catching all these fish right <laughs> there, there is there's a lot of stuff that gets cut out in these episodes there is yeah maybe someday we'll do a blooper blooper reel <laughs> everybody thanks for watching this portion of the journal we'll see you next week for more information on how to build your own kramer custom rod Contact Eric at KramerCustomRods.com. Badger Sportsman Magazine is the longest running outdoor magazine in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman provides you with the best information from local Wisconsin guides and professionals so you can be successful in the outdoors. Whether you're in a boat or a tree stand, Badger Sportsman Magazine is the new go-to for information on duck hunting, deer hunting, hard and soft water fishing, and more. Enjoy our product reviews, quick tips, and all of our articles on our website today.